Okay guys, getting you a video of Costin today. So we are going to work on place. We're gonna work on a little bit of everything, but the main point of this video is to teach you about the place command. So place is going to be a dog bed. It can really be anything that's different from the floor that has a clear border. I have outdoor place beds, well that's what he's on now. I have indoor place beds. If you were in a pinch, you could use a folded up blanket. It just has to have a clear enough border that he, that Costin understands his boundaries. So I've taught Costin that when I tell him place, he has to get on the bed. Whether that's this bed, whether it's a bed that's inside, whether it's another outdoor bed that's right next to it, he has to go to the bed that I tell him to. And then he knows uh, that he has to stay there until I tell him something different. So this is what we call an implied stay. I'm not gonna teach him the word stay or tell him the word stay. I'm going to tell him place and then expect him to stay there until I either give him a release command or give him a different command like come or heal or something like that. So to have, help him understand that this is an implied stay, I'm going to pair correction with the command of place again anytime he steps off this bed. So this one is really easy because it's elevated. So it's very clear to him if he steps from here down to the grass, it's very clear. Oh, as soon as he feels that e-collar correction, he knows, oh right, I'm supposed to be on the boundaries of this bed, so my foot needs to go back up on the bed. Whereas with a blanket or if you were to use a doormat or something like that, it wouldn't be enough. It would almost just be like, if I came over here and I said, this patch of grass is your place, and then I stepped off, and if I'm being corrected, this isn't different enough for me to, in a, for a dog to understand, oh right, I was on place right here. So it has to be a big enough difference from the ground that it's on, whether that's the grass, the carpet, the tile, whatever it may be. Good boy, Costin. And he, he should stay on that no matter what, no matter how far away I get, no matter what distractions are going on, and even if I'm out of sight, he should stay on this bed. Good boy. So my release command, he has to offer me eye contact. That's that engagement we've been talking about. Then I tell him, okay, we've got a, an airplane overhead that, <laughs> that he's interested in. So eye contact, and I don't want to do anything to request that. I don't want to say cost in, I don't want to make noises at him. The most I can do is just move around him. Good boy, good job. And right now, if he doesn't give me the eye contact, that's okay, because we're just building duration. If he does offer me eye contact, I can either tell him good boy, or I can give him that release command. I can tell him okay, and then use my body language to guide him out of the command. So body language usually just means I'll start walking away, pat my leg, as I'm telling him, okay, that kind of thing. Because if I'm standing right in front of him, and he gives me eye contact, and I say, Costin, okay, my voice is saying, yes, it's okay to move, but my body isn't. So instead, I have to say, okay, and pat my leg, and walk away. But, as you can see, he hasn't moved, because he understands he has to get all three points. He has to get the eye contact, the verbal command, and the body language in order to move off this bed. So even if I come over, and if I pick up the leash, good, he thought about it, he thought about getting off, because normally that means, oh, we're going somewhere, but he didn't get that release command. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move around him and wait until he gives me eye contact. <laughs> and like I said, if he doesn't offer it right away, that's okay, because we're just working on that duration. Okay, good, good boy. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna heal a little bit and we'll work on another command, the wait command. So this is at thresholds, so like a fence, a doorway. I've had clients use it even crossing the street. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say cost in wait. I'm gonna open up that gate. I'm going to cross this threshold first. Wait, good boy. And he has to be released across. So I'm gonna wait for the eye contact. Uh-uh, wait. Oh, come here, buddy. 
little surprise there. He hasn't had to have the e-collar correction yet. So he's like, whoa, what was that? Good job. And we're working at a fairly low level at 13. So nothing too crazy. <laughs> Come on. So this is the one command that we don't necessarily want to build duration on because I don't want you waiting at your doorway for 10 minutes. But just working on every day, we've got to build that engagement, help him understand that that's how he gets to do stuff. Hi, buddy. Giving me a little side eye there. <laughs> side eye doesn't count. It's got to be full eye contact. Hi, bud. Good, good boy. So now we're going through a little bit of a pouty stage where I gave him a correction because he started to cross the threshold without being released. And so now he's pouting a little bit. He's mad because he got corrected. So now he's just not gonna look at me at all. Oh, come on. Oh, go side. <laughs> oh, come here. Wait. Good boy. Good boy, Costin. Just gonna wait him out. Okay, good. Come here. Costin, sit. Good. So I put him in to sit and I'm stepping on the leash while I shut the gate. And then we'll be off. Good boy, let's go here. Oops. Good. So we got lots going on today. Kids coming home from school. They're resurfacing the street. Good job, buddy. Good. Yeah. Come on. Cross it. Good. And then we're going to wait again to go inside. Let's walk up to the door. Austin, wait. Uh-uh, wait. Good. So I, as the human, always cross the threshold first. Good boy. Good job, buddy. He's watching, he's watching the yard be resurfaced. Okay, come on. Good. And then we'll walk over to the place bed inside. Come on, buddy. Cross in place. Good. Good boy. And this is his indoor place bed. Good job, buddy. So this is nice. This command is great for pretty much anything. If you're sitting down to watch TV, if you are eating dinner, I use this one. My dining room is right there so I can see the dogs. And that way they're not begging. They're not trying to sneak food or anything like that job and I can go out of sight. Walk away from him. Good boy. He's still on that bed. Good job. Come up, pet him, walk away. Good boy. Now these things are all going to be a little bit harder for you when he comes home because he hasn't had these rules with you and he's had these rules with me from day one. So he's going to push you a little bit. He's going to show some confusion. He's going to act like he doesn't know anything at all. But as long as you are you stick with it and you follow through with everything, he'll pick up on it really quick. Hi, huh, buddy? He's going to want to be with you up on the couch and stuff like that. So we'll go over all our rules and boundaries when you guys pick him up. But this is the place command. It's great. We also use it, you know, when someone comes to the door. So knock on the door. Somebody rings the doorbell. Dogs usually run up to the door barking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk over to my place bed, and if they're over there bark, bark, barking at the door, I'm gonna say, Costin, come. And then I'm gonna say, Costin, please. And then I'm gonna walk away. Answer the door. If it's a package, great, I can take my package. If it's someone coming in, I can invite the guests in. We'll come over here, sit down and chat for a little while. And then once, about 10-15 minutes later, once the guests have been there for a little while and they're not as 
new and fun, then I can release Costin and he'll be a lot less likely to jump on them. Hi, buddy. So I'm gonna come up to him. Okay, come on, Costin, okay. And so when I release him, he's like, are you sure you want me to move? <laughs> okay, I do want him to move every time I release him. Good boy, yeah, good. Oh, you want your belly rubs, huh? Good job, buddy, yeah, good boy. <laughs> and then we'll put him back, Costin, please. Good boy. Good, so he's doing really well. Still working on the engagement and the eye contact, and that's okay. If a dog is really stubborn, that's usually the worst part, is just getting him to understand that he's gotta give me that eye contact. But it's getting better and better every day, so he's doing really good.